what we do here is go back, 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 back. guys what is up and welcome back to another call of duty mobile video now over here right now we're gonna go ahead and check out the brand new update because it is indeed live on the korean version of call of duty mobile it is not live on the global version at the time of recording this video but i thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to go ahead and check out how the update is looking and everything new coming to the game so anyway guys i hope all of you are super hyped because i'm like so damn excited for season 7 and i cannot wait for it to come to the global version as well but anyway guys i do want to say before we hop into this video i am giving away three battle passes and all the steps to enter are at the beginning of the video so anyway guys with all that out the way let's hop right into this video so here we go guys and here is the brand new season 7 update now i have seen the background and most of the features in this update but still i think everything looks super cool and i want to go ahead and start off going to the events now first you guys the backdrop of season 7 looks absolutely awesome i'm a big big fan of that but let's go to events then go to daily now look at this guys we have a brand new daily login event every single day and it's going to start on the first day with 100 credits and then it's going to go into this caution skin for quite a few skins and it's going to be for the knife firstly and then it is going to be for the wingsuit then we have one for the smoke grenade we have one for the hso over here we have a parachute and i actually quite like the way that parachute skin does look i actually think that looks pretty damn nice over there then we are going to have the danger zone smrs skin and yeah I actually like that a lot, it's kind of gnarly, it has warning multiple times on the actual skin, I think it looks absolutely crazy, a very very cool looking skin over there, then we have a backpack over here, danger zone, over here we have a caution sticky grenade, and then over here we are going to have an M16 skin, then we have an ORV skin looking pretty damn nice as well I have to say so, and then finally, in my opinion, we finally have a nice looking airborne skin. Like we've only had I believe two and that was St. Patrick's Day and Gridiron but now we finally actually have a nice airborne skin. That's very very cool over there. Then we're going to have an RPD caution. Over here we have a concussion grenade and here we have an MW11 danger zone. And then at day 24 guys another free epic skin and this time it is going to be the Vanguard skin. And yeah, she looks super, super cool. I did show you guys some leaks on the skin. And yeah, I think she's absolutely awesome. Look, the hair even moves. Like, if you move her, her hair moves as well. It's very, very cool over there. The backpack is quite cool. You have the axe here on the left side. On the front, you have the warning sticker. Overall, guys, a very, very cool looking skin. And I love the mask as well. Just overall, guys, it looks super, super cool. What do you guys think? Personally, I think this skin over here is actually better than the Nomad Druid skin. I think I like this one over here a lot more. But still, guys, we're getting so much epic skins now for free. It's absolutely crazy in my opinion. And then finally, at day 25, and we have an antelope skin. And we haven't even seen a skin for this vehicle up until now. And I think this over here is looking pretty cool. Then if we move on over here, we have the Trap Master Caution. And I think that's pretty cool over there, not bad by any means, but then, the final reward, the Pharaoh Danger Zone. So if you guys still don't have a Pharaoh skin, now you are going to get one for just logging into the game every single day. And it's going to be the Pharaoh Danger Zone. So overall guys, a bunch of awesome rewards up for grabs. Personally, I think the Vanguard skin as well as the Antelope skin are the two best skins over here for me at least. But like I said guys, there is so many cool skins over here. It's definitely looking like a very good season so far. But anyway guys, moving on, there's just so much more information to go ahead and show you guys. Now first, over here we can see Free For All has now also become a core mode again, as well as Gunfights is also a core mode right now, which is pretty, pretty cool over there. Now if we go over to Featured, Training Mode is in the game, and it does unlock at level 8, as well as the new map coming to the game is going to be Tunisia. Now I've played Tunisia quite a lot, and I think it's a very, very cool map, but over here, right now, we have training mode now basically what training mode is guys you go into like this whole training area where there's targets and you can go ahead and practice your aim now also guys 
you can go ahead and practice your aim with absolutely any gun in the game including the new mp5 as well as the new lmg the chopper as well and every single other gun in the game overall it's just like the small little mini game you guys can go ahead and practice your aim it's super fun and super cool i'm so happy it's in the game as well but anyway guys here's just a few seconds of the gameplay of the brand new mp5 as well as the new chopper coming to the game but anyway guys now moving on to the brand new crates in the game and now guys these crates i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the crates that were added into the game onto the global version that just didn't work and it just took your card points and gave you nothing in return so firstly we have the buried treasure crate and over here we have the xpr 50 sunspot now personally i don't like this skin i just don't see anything too unique about it i guess you can argue it's kind of like reflective but i'm just not the biggest fan of that i think it's very very simple now over here we have the asm 10 doomed drake now this over here is pretty cool in my opinion it kind of reminds me of a different version of the black and gold asm 10 but it's like gold on the standard normal looking sm10 instead of having like the black body it's pretty cool i do like that one a lot more than the xpr 50. And then moving on we have some of these hazard camos for a bunch of different guns over here then we have a facility frame as well as a new avatar called the voodoo man then we have a spray over here we have calling cards as you guys know calling cards are in the game now then over here we have a kn44 yellow camo and these yellow camos over here I believe these are the yellow snow camos from season 1, correct me if I'm wrong, but they look so similar to the yellow snow camos, but definitely in here the cool things in my opinion is going to be the KN44 yellow snow, as well as the ASM temp doom drake, and the calling card, as well as the frame, so overall guys, it's a pretty cool crate, I just am not a big fan of that XPR 50. But then moving on to the next crate, we have the Going Dark crate, and it is going to be a blue rare crate. And in here, guys, we have two characters. First, you have Outrider Going Dark. And already, guys, Outrider is one of my favorite characters in the game, so I'm definitely going to go off this crate over here. And the Going Dark version looks so cool. The black and the orange go together very, very cool. Then if we move on, we have the Elite PMC Going Dark as well. Now the Elite PMC has been in the game, I believe, since day one, and now we have a new version of him looking very, very similar, just like small spots of orange, but he does still look cool, but I do think Outrider is the best character in this crate over here. Then we have a backpack, looks okay, and then an awesome looking helicopter, that is cool. The orange mixed with the black again is super, super cool. Then we have a boat over here. To be honest, guys, I've never actually even used a boat in the game, so I don't care about that at all. Then we have a wingsuit over here. We have a parachute, and it's all blacked out. That's very, very cool over there. We have some of these slate skins over here. And to be honest, guys, I don't like these skins over here at all, but overall, it's a pretty cool crate. The issue of these blue crates, I always struggle so damn hard to get the character out of them, and hopefully, I can either pull the Outrider or Elite PMC out of the screen, or even the helicopter. The helicopter looks so damn cool. So anyway, guys, those are the two new crates, the Buried Treasure Crate, as well as the Going Dark Crate. So anyway, guys, now moving on to the last bit of this video. Experience the newly extended map in Battle Royale. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks in this game, cause it's absolutely huge. I mean, the new map is absolutely amazing. We've added on so much, there is tanks. There is just so much changes to the map. I have a full on video showing all of that guys and it will be linked in the description. But as soon as we update towards season seven, we can go ahead and experience the brand new extended battle royale map that's just so damn cool. And I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy because they really went ahead and showed effort. They showed that they care about battle royale as well. And I'm just so damn happy about that. But anyway guys, that's just everything that is gonna be in the game when we do go ahead and update towards season seven now there is one more event and i'm not too sure this is going to be in the global version as well but once you log into the game for the first time guys you are going to go ahead and get some exp cards as well as a bk57 cubic illusion now, like i said guys i'm not too sure this is going to be in the global version or not we're just gonna have to go ahead and wait and see but over here we have this thing called the returning soldier reward over here, you can choose between the AK-47 Jade, the Nomad Druid, as well as the RUS-79U Cyberspace. And once you choose one of these rewards, guys, you get that reward. 
but over here you'll see you only get it for 14 days now what you have to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and grind to go ahead and get this gun over here so over here the epic rus 79u it's also going to be a character skin that used to cost actual money but what you have to do is go ahead and complete like these events every single day to get coins to be able to go ahead and unlock the full version of that epic gun as well as ruin spades as well which is pretty cool in my opinion now like i said guys i'm not sure if this is going to be in the global version of the game as well or not but anyways we'll probably find out later on today or tomorrow depending on when the update does drop for global but for now guys here's everything in the brand new update for the korean version of season 7 but anyway guys that's everything brand new in the season 7 update so far and i really hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video but anyways that is all guys for this video i really hope you guys have a great day i'll catch you guys in the next video and squally out cheers